Computer scientist Shwetek Patel and his team are developing new sensing systems. The initial focus was really around energy and water monitoring. They built a new generation of smart sensors that monitor electronic interference on a home's power line or water pressure changes in the plumbing. Most of this technology has already found industrial applications, and Patel and his team turned their attention to adapting the technology for personal health monitoring. So how do we take this noise and make it into a signal of interest was kind of the, kind of the, the core of what we did for many years, and we're taking that work and, and applying it to other domains. They're looking to take advantage of all the functionality built into our smartphones. With the user's permission, this app can use the microphone built into most smartphones to listen to background noises, <coughs> such as coughing, searching for patterns that suggest a trip to the doctor might be in order. We construct these models that try and understand uh, how sound works, how it, um, what its patterns are, and we give it a whole bunch of examples of different kinds of audio, things like um, people talking, things like people laughing, sneezing, and of course coughing. This app uses a phone's camera to check hemoglobin levels in blood by analyzing the color of capillary fluids through the skin. Generally, what happens is if you're anemic, your blood's going to be a little less red. And we take advantage of that by ta putting your finger over a camera of a phone. The camera of the phone can actually see the coloration of the blood. And this test uses the camera to help parents worried about jaundice in newborn infants. Now, jaundice is something that doctors who have seen tons of babies can just kind of figure out on a very basic level of, is this baby, do they need to get treatment, or are they in a good condition? Whereas a first-time parent has no idea necessarily what jaundice might look like. The researchers say the built-in sensors found in smartphones are already commonplace, but their applications and their implications for our health and well-being may be more far-reaching than we ever imagined.